Howdy y'all and welcome back to another video. Today I got an easy one for y'all where I just want to talk about how you can take your normal HD or 4 gig footage and really maximize it on a platform like Instagram or even TikTok where it forces you to do the vertical videos but obviously you don't want to crop in like that. So I'm not going to ramble on about this. I'm using Premiere Pro so I'm going to go ahead and dive in and let's do it. So here in Premiere Pro, you can see I have my clip and it is in a 30 frames per second, which I do recommend for Instagram specifically and probably TikTok because they do say that that's their preferred frame rate. But anyways, uh, you do want to match your timeline to whatever frame rate it is that you took it in. So normally I would just drag this clip down and work with it from there. But in this case, I do want to go down to my new items right here and create a new sequence because that's where this gets interesting. So I'm gonna stick in this digital SLR area. I think that's where a lot of people are gonna be operating. And I would recommend, like I said, picking whatever frame rate you took the clip in. I wouldn't necessarily modify the footage for this because it is just for Instagram reels and stuff, but it's up to you, whatever you wanna do. But anyways, the real trick comes in here when you come into the settings because you can pick whatever time base you want from whatever, you know, if you took it in 60 frames per second, you could come down and pick that or in 24 or whatever you want to do. It's not that big of a deal, but I'm going to stick to the 30 frames per second that I took it in. And we're going to want to turn this into a 9 by 16 because that's what your phone is going to naturally be presenting to the viewer. So we're going to want to come over and actually turn the horizontal into 1080 and turn the vertical into 1920. And now you can see over here in the uh, preview that it's actually up and down like your phone would be. The other thing, especially with Instagram Reels, is there can only be up to 30 seconds. Now, if you're doing a TikTok, then you can go up to a minute if you'd like. So I like to go to 29, 29, just to make sure I'm <laughs> just under that time limit. And now I'm gonna drag the video down to the timeline. And it's gonna ask you, you know, for most people, if you wanna match the clip settings. No, we want to keep the existing settings of the timeline because we already put into the sequence exactly what we wanted. Now, the real trick of this is the viewer is going to see the footage whenever uh, it's up and down and we want it to turn. We want them to turn their phones to where they're now looking at it in a normal 16 by 9 ratio. But if you just show that at, uh, right off the bat, you might lose some people, so this is a little way to just sort of lead the viewer into enjoying the full experience of it by forcing them to turn their phones in a creative way. So I don't want to wait too long. I'm going to come up to about five seconds here and I'm going to come to effect controls, highlight my clip, and we're going to want to toggle the animation for your position, your scale, and your rotation. And then I'm going to come over to about 10 seconds. I would recommend at least five seconds for the viewer to be able to turn their phone. And I'm going to add three more keyframes right there. So now we're on the second keyframes. And you're going to want to change the rotation to either 90 or 270. If you change it to 90, it's going to force the person to rotate their phone to the left. I guess. And if you change it to 270, it's going to go to the right. So it just depends. I think normally phones have you go to the left, so that's what's more natural for people, and especially for most people being right-handed, turning their phone. Anyways, however you want to do it, but I'm going to go 90 and boom. So now my second keyframe is at 90 degrees. And since this is a 4K clip in a HD aspect ratio, I'm going to scale it down to 50 because that's going to fit perfectly. So. That keyframe is set. And if I come back to my original one and I let it play out, you'll see now it turns. But here's the problem. Now if you look at the preview, we got these little black, you know, it's, it's not fully covering the entire clip. So we don't want that. So the way that you can avoid this is by going to your first set of keyframes and changing your scale. For the sake of this example, I'm gonna scale in all the way to 250. You're probably gonna to have to go in pretty far, but it totally depends on your clip and all the different things that you might want. Um, this is just sort of the basic, just one simple thing. And then I'm going to go ahead and adjust it because I want the actual ship rock formation to be what you're looking at right off the bat. And boom, there you go. So now, as we watch it play through, 
perfect. No black, fills up the entire screen, tells the viewer to go ahead and turn their phone. Now, I don't particularly like how abrupt that it is. So one way that we can also adjust this is by coming to each of the keyframes and actually highlighting all three of them, right-clicking, coming to Temporal Interpolation, and you're going to want to ease out. Now, one way to remember easing in and easing out which one's which, they're in relation to the keyframe. So you want to ease out of one keyframe and then ease into the next. So you want all three of these keyframes to ease out, right? It's not in relation to the actual transition, it's in relation to the keyframe. It's a little tricky, but it, you, you'll get it. <laughs> so we'll come to the last three. Now we want these to ease in. And now when we watch it play back, you can see it just sort of has this nice smooth arc to it. And then all of a sudden you have a full clip that's ready for the viewer to watch in the original way that you shot it. And I think that it's a much more pleasing uh, experience for the viewer if they do choose to watch it. Because we all know everybody's attention span is so short. So that's all I got for this one. I hope that gives you some inspiration to go back to some old clips or maybe for some future clips that you might take uh, to use them in a little bit more creative way or be able to use the whole thing so we don't keep being restricted to that tiny little vertical format that they want us to use because we all know that's not really the format that we want to be viewing video in. So if you like this video, please give it a like. Check out my other content to see if it's something you're interested in. And if you are, please consider subscribing and turning on the notifications. And until the next one, see ya.